Welcome to this episode of WikiWalks, a short podcast devoted to some of the more intriguing and, huh, who knew, articles that you can run across in the weird world of Wikipedia. I'm your host, Chris Grismer. I saw recently that the Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest is going to be done without an audience this year because of the COVID. And that glutton fest reminded me of a crazy article from Wikipedia about a Frenchman named Terrare. The last time we did a story about an unusual Frenchman, it was a bizarre six-minute journey through the backside of King Louis XIV. And I'd like to tell you that this French-centric episode is less strange. I'd like to tell you that. But you need to know about Terrare, a French man from the late 1700s who had an endless appetite due to unknown medical causes. I'll start off by saying that some of the actions of this hungry, hungry hippo might not be suitable for younger listeners, just... FYI, so listen at your own peril if you've got little ones with you. We good? Did you just kick them out of the car? That's fine. They'll find their way home. Get an internal compass. In one case, Terare ate 15 meals in a single sitting, and his endless hunger led him, while in a hospital, to eat piles of garbage, as well as trying to drink other patients' blood and eat corpses from the morgue. Sacre bleu! And I realize some of you might even have just heard that and thought to yourself, ugh, relatable AF, TBH. So, let's dive in, shall we? In his early years, Terare would eat an entire cow carcass quarter. So that's just one-fourth of a cow for those mathematicians keeping score at home. You'd think that this dude also would just be like orca fat, but no, he was only 100 pounds soaking wet. What really stood out about this fun-sized Frenchman was that he had an enormous stretched-out mouth and teeth stained the same color as a 1970s kitchen backsplash. He was able to fit a dozen eggs in his mouth at a time, and his stomach would oscillate between enormously octomommed out when full or saggy and stretched to his knees when empty. He was also known to be quite offensive in the stench department. He was described as being stinky to such a degree that he could not be endured within the distance of 20 paces. His family realized that he might literally eat them out of house and home and kicked him to the curb, and his eating habits were untenable, and they told him that he was on his own. 17th century peasant life was rough, and he had to go full Aladdin and beg and steal to satisfy that monstrous appetite. However, much the opportunist, he was able to parlay this voraciousness into a lucrative street-performing gig in Paris where onlookers would hand him baskets of apples and eggs and even wine corks as he slammed them down without hesitation. Everything went swimmingly, although he did encounter an intestinal blockage that required the crowd to carry him to the hospital after he collapsed. He was given the strongest laxatives known at the time, and the result is how we got to Grand Canyon. Or maybe not, but wouldn't you rather me just lie than go into more detail? Although I will say perhaps my favorite line ever in a Wikipedia article follows that laxative bit. He made a full recovery and offered to demonstrate his act by eating his surgeon's watch and chain. Monsieur Girard, the surgeon, was unimpressed by the offer and warned him that if he did so, he would cut Terrare open to recover the items. I love the internet. Terrare eventually joined the military in 1792 and would often break from the ranks to go eat garbage left by other battalions. He had already been given quadruple rations, but he still needed more. He eventually got sick again, shocker, as garbage eaters tend to, and he was hospitalized. This time, French researchers decided to study this remorseless eating machine. He was put in a room with a meal made for 15 people and, as you'd expect, ate the whole darn thing and then immediately passed out. They handed him raw eels just to see what he would do, and he slurped them down without hesitation. He also ripped a live cat apart with his bare hands, drank its blood, and ate everything but the bones, and then hacked up the fur and skin like some sort of human-owl person thing. Now our boy, slash hellspawn, Terrare was still an enlisted man, and the French military tried to think of ways to use his superpowers. They presented him a box with a note in it, and he ate it whole, and then passed the container two days later in mint condition. I think this is how FedEx works. However, this trick made him a great candidate for spycraft and passing secret messages. They sent him to Prussia with a document in his tum-tum and a note to an imprisoned French colonel. However, there were a few holes in this brilliant plan. A. He didn't speak a lick of German, which is what they were speaking in Prussia at the time. And perhaps more pressingly, he ran around the streets eating everyone's garbage and mutilating small animals. 
not exactly low-key. He was captured and spilled the beans about his mission. They chained him to a toilet, and 30 hours later, the letter uh, was uh, delivered. The note actually was pretty unimportant. Hey, Colonel, you up? No, but they pretended to hang him, then beat him pretty good, and sent him on his merry way. He again found himself in the hospital, desperate to find a cure for his insatiable appetite and eating compulsions. Things only got weirder as he'd sneak out of the hospital to eat more garbage, or, whew, horrifyingly, perch himself under patients undergoing a bloodletting like a kid drinking from a garden hose. It got so bad that on several occasions, he was found gnawing on some cold cuts down in the mortuary. Although, that wasn't enough to get him kicked out, interestingly. However, uh, he did get kicked out when a 14-month-old baby went missing and all eyes turned to Turare. I was hungry! So yeah, they kicked him out. He wandered about for a little more, eating more trash and more animals, and wound up back in the hospital, but this time with tuberculosis, which did him in. At 26, he was gone. And man, he certainly made the most of his years, because that is a lot of living for only being 26. Autopsy showed that his gullet was abnormally wide. Basically, his mouth was the entry for a giant hallway to his stomach, and his organs were just enormous and riddled with ulcers. And what have you done, oh listener? Have you eaten garbage or a live cat today? No? Well, what are you waiting for? Get after it. So, there you go. That's the story of Tarare. I'm not 100% convinced it wasn't just three snakes in a trench coat, horking down live animals and meals fit for an entire village all those years, but man, I need to up my lunch game because I am pumping out rookie numbers in comparison. So, the next time you feel you're so hungry you could shut down a golden corral by yourself, just remember, there ain't no bigger threat to a buffet than Tarare. <laughs>